Imagine jumping in and then flying through a virtual copy of your very own brain. That's what one Livermore teenager did before undergoing neurosurgery. Now, thanks to this cutting edge technology, he's back on his feet, living his life. 15 year old Matthias Hahn and his mom, Lindsay. It's hard to believe six months ago, the young athlete was in the ICU suffering from a brain tumor. He was paralyzed on one side and unable to speak. What happened next is astonishing. Oh, I had no idea that that could ever happen or even be possible, let alone be able to do it and be the first person here to experience it. It's just mind blowing. It's awesome. What it is, is virtual reality. We get closer. The technology allows users to immerse themselves into a 3D fantasy world. For Matthias, however, this was no fantasy. The world he jumped into was an accurate representation of his brain, recreated from MRIs, CT scans, and x-rays. And you are shrunk down um, to uh, a very small size, and you now are virtually flying through this patient's brain. Once inside, Matthias, his parents, and surgeon were all able to get a 360-degree look at the tumor threatening his life. We can use it in many different ways to prepare uh, ourselves for surgery, prepare our parents for surgery, but probably most of all uh, to prepare our patients for surgery. Dr. Curtis Augusti is chief of surgery at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, Oakland. The facility is the first pediatric hospital in the Bay Area to implement virtual reality for its neurosurgery patients. It prepared me it, uh, for some of the landmines that were waiting for me. With the technology, the surgeon studied the best course of action. He could fade the tumor in and out to study the delicate blood vessels hidden behind it. During the surgery, Dr. Augusti avoided them. As a result, his, his surgery went uh, uh, very, very smoothly, no surprises. Cool. Matthias actually <laughs> recovered ahead of schedule. He's back to running man. cross country. I am running again uh, almost every week, and we're starting practice again soon for this next season, and I'm excited, and I'm ready. For Matthias and parents, by seeing the problem, the technology stripped away a lot of anxiety and fear. There's something really powerful and uh, enabling about being able to see what is causing a problem and like literally feel like you could put your hands on it and, and almost like, let, let's just tell it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, like, we'll just, we'll just like take that away and, and, not, and not think about it anymore. Here's the thing, the technology is easily understood by these pediatric patients in part because they grew up playing video games. In fact, Dr. Augusti says that uh, his young patients often teach him shortcuts and tips on navigating around in that 3D world.